Cyber crime is an illegal activity done using computers and the internet. Cyber crimes can cause financial loss, loss of confidential information or may harm our privacy. Hacking. Hacking is one of the most common cyber crimes happening today. Hackers gain unauthorized access to a computer system by cracking passwords. Hacking can also be done on a group of systems, website or an email account. Hackers steal data and cause financial or reputational harm to a person or a group. Identity theft. Identity theft is a cyber crime where cyber criminals steal personal data like passwords or bank account details. Cyber criminals use this data to steal money. Computer viruses. Many cyber criminals use computer viruses to gain unauthorized access to systems and steal data. A computer virus is a malware loaded into a computer without the knowledge of the user. Software piracy. The unauthorized copying, distribution or use of software is called software piracy. Cyber criminals distribute pirated softwares which causes loss to the software company. Cyberbullying Cyberbullying is a form of online harassment of a person using smartphones or computer. It is also known as cyber harassment or online bullying. Cyberbullying generally occurs on platforms like social media and gaming platforms. It involves posting hate comments and sharing negative information about a person. This leads to humiliation of the person who is bullied. Phishing Phishing is a cybercrime where people are contacted through phone, email or a message by cyber criminals posing as a person from legitimate institution. These cyber criminals collect personal information like bank account details and passwords and then steal money. Nowadays, we use internet for many day-to-day -day activities. However, we need to stay alert and avoid happening of cyber crimes. Here are some steps we can take to avoid being a victim of cyber crimes. First, avoid use of public Wi-Fi networks. Second, avoid using public computers while doing financial transactions. Third, never share your password with anyone. Fourth, avoid downloading unknown applications on the mobile. With advancement in information technology, the way cyber criminals commit crime is also changing day by day. We must always stay alert and take necessary precautions to be safe from these crimes. We must immediately report to cybercrime department if we become a victim of cybercrime. The Sri Lanka Computer Emergency Readiness Team said that the home page of 10 websites containing domain names .lk and .com domain have come under a cyber attack today. Among the web pages that were defaced was the Kuwait Embassy in Sri Lanka and Rajarata University along with websites belonging to several private institutions. It has been reported that following the cyber attack on the Kuwait Embassy web page, a picture similar to that of the LTTE symbol was depicted on its site. According to CERT, they have been vigilant on such attacks given prior reports of similar incidents taking place on the 18th of May, which also falls on National War Heroes Day. Roughly about 10.lk and .com websites have been defaced. Among those websites, Kuwait Embassy website is also affected by this. And the attackers, they have changed the content of the website. Currently, Sri Lanka cert, tech cert, and uh, Sri Lanka Air Force Cyber Operation Center are investigating the incident. And uh, relevant parties have been informed and some of the web websites are taken down. Some of the websites are uh, now restored and back online, especially the uh, Kuwait Embassy website is working as normal. This attack has happened uh, last year as well. We were ready this time. And most of the government websites are not affected by this, only the .lk and .com websites.